Now I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to replace the text in your header image so that it matches with the name of your website. So the first thing you're going to do, of course, you're going to unzip all the files that you got from me and then you're going to go into the graphics directory and inside there there's a PSD directory and what you want to do is you want to open the logo.psd file and you'll see that the text in there it doesn't have any of the fancy shadows or borders or anything I save it this way on purpose because it's easier for you to deal with because the thing with GIMP is you can't just click on the text and just retype it. The text layer isn't actually saved as text, it's just an element. So what you need to do is delete the whole thing and type in what you want. So you want to bring up this layers um, box, which might already be up, but if it's not, you can go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and click Layers. And in here, you'll see I've saved all the elements of this um, header and you can see each one. I tried to name them things that make sense and the text itself a lot of times I'll put a dash and I'll put the actual font that I used. Now these fonts you may or may not have on your computer. It's not um, something to do with the header. It's what's installed on your computer. So you can either search the web and look for this font if you want or just use any font that you want to use. So what the best thing to do here is to just um, delete this layer and then you want to click on this text thing and you're going to pick from here you can pick whatever font you want one of my favorites is this curls font and I don't think that you will have it on your computer um, by default you might have to go out on the web and get it but I'm gonna just try this one to show you now you can pick whatever color you want. The color of your text is going to be in this bar here. So let's say I want blue and you can diddle around with this thing and get it to be, you know, whatever whatever color you want. And I'm going to just go over here and I'm going to type uh, whatever I want, whatever you want it to say. And you can come back to here and you can make the size bigger. Then if you want to move it to a different place to center it, you want to click on this thing and you want to pick Move Active Layer and then you just go over here and you can just move it around and put it wherever you want. And that's pretty much it. You can change any of the text on there this way and as you can see it looks kind of plain and I could <coughs> spend all day showing you how to apply the different um, things, fancy things to these to this text but I'm just going to show you a really easy thing you can do to make it pop and you can go up here to filters and you can pick um, light and shadow and then you can pick drop shadow and this window should come up and I don't usually pick for the offset I usually do like three and three and then a smaller blur, blur. and this is how dark the shadow is going to be and then it just applies a shadow. And you can play around with that. You can, if you don't like that, you can do, um, you could do edit, undo drop shadow. You can go back in and do the drop shadow again. You can play around with any of these little things. Uh, I like this bevel one. You can click add bevel. Again, you can pick, play around with this. It gives it a little, this particular one doesn't look so good, but it gives it a little, little bit of zip. There's a ton of things you can do to the text and I really, if you want to learn more about it, you should go to YouTube and search the videos to find out what to do. But here's just an easy way for you to change the text to make it match your website. And if your website has uh, an ebook cover too, you want to open the ebookcover.psd file and you can change the text in there the same way you did this. Now when you're done making all your changes, you want to save this as logo.jpg. You just can do file, save as, and then hit the save button. 
You probably want to save it, you know, to a new directory so you don't overwrite the original one just in case. And then after that, what you're going to do is FTP it up to your custom theme slash images folder on your server. And I'll have another video later on that will show you exactly how to do that.